We at the National Robotarium believe that the adoption of robotics into the agricultural sector is key, not least to drive efficiencies and economic growth in the UK, but also to answer some of society's biggest demands around food resources. We have purchased a, a TOM robot for the James Hutton Institute. Our engineers are here today to test out how it works, what the benefits of it are, and of course make it applicable to those end users, the farmers. We've developed a system that's able to transit through the fields using its suite of cameras and sensors on the robot to record this really high granularity information. We can go and do what we call a green on brown survey. So we can find specifically where there's green elements in the field and then target that using the controls on the sprayer to only apply that herbicide where it's needed. And that can save anywhere between 40 and 60% of the application in the field. So if we take that premise and extend it through to the James Hutton Institute, who are world leaders in the agricultural sector, we can give them effectively a Formula One tool that allows them to exploit its capabilities in the pursuance of the things that they're trying to solve. And for National Robotarium, they're bringing all their expertise. So it's a real opportunity to collaborate with the best minds in the business using hopefully some of the best equipment to get the very best outcomes for everybody. I'll be involved in this partnership so that we can uh improve the autonomy of the, the Tom Robot V4. I will be taking the, the mission data and then doing some analysis to, to fine tune the, the control systems they have. And I'm actually really excited. I think they have the right strategy to improve efficiency in agri-tech. And I think I've learned a lot. I will benefit in terms of, of learning more of, of data and how we can transform this data into great insights into farmers and now we can really change the, the agri-tech industry. Getting to actually drive the robot around um, and seeing how it's actually used within the field rather than a controlled environment it has been really beneficial because everything we do experimentally obviously is very controlled so you come up with certain problems that you don't exactly encounter uh, within those tests. So seeing the, the problems that they've come up with have really given us a lot of insight into um, the problems that we might see in other projects as well as this one going forward.